Hi there, I'm Wayne Pekarsky for The Developer Show, and this is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. The .dev domain is now available to anyone through your registrar of choice. We envision .dev as a home for developers from tools to programming languages and blogs. For some links to a few of our favorite sites on .dev, or to register your own, check out the post linked in the description below. Flutter 1.2 is now available and focuses on a few major areas, improved stability, performance and quality of the core framework, visual finish and functionality of existing widgets, and new web-based tooling. For a lot more detail and links to get started, head on over to the post. Go 1.12 is now available. Highlights include opt-in support for TLS 1.3, improved module support, support for Windows on ARM, and improved macOS and iOS forwards compatibility. A link to the download page is on the post. The Cloud IoT Device SDK is a new way for embedded IoT devices to connect to Google Cloud IoT Core. And with the Google Cloud IoT platform, you can now manage all of your devices, establish data streams with analytics tools such as BigQuery or Bigtable, monitor performance, and visualize data. Links to get started are on the post. The Google Summer of Code is a global program focused on bringing more student developers into open source software development. The open source projects and organizations that have been accepted for Google Summer of Code 2019 are linked from the post. If you're a student interested in participating, now's the time to take a look. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Wayne Pekarsky for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. What about the, what about the winter of code? We don't have such a thing. Now is, now is